Hey guys, it's Deadeye, and welcome to Black and Slash, a game made by the same people that made Core Defense. I also played that game on my channel if you want to check that out. I quite enjoyed the game, so I figured I'd check this one out here. It's just a demo, but we're going to play on normal. Now, I have played the game once before. I have an item in my vault here, but I'm just going to ignore that, and I'll get into the vault later. But let's start out here. So, the point is to try to get in the top there the item box when you can and then more than anything else just try not to take any damage these guys shouldn't be too difficult to avoid taking damage from the one just in front of me here this one is a teleporter which means it can move anywhere on the map in just one move but all these guys can only move once whereas i can move three times which gives me a pretty large advantage and that's sort of the essence of the game and how to win it the dasher has a dash and slash skill, so he moves through quickly in one direction, and then this big block guy here does a lot of damage, but is very slow. So, first off, just gonna take out this dasher. You see we do very little damage, we can't kill him in one shot. Now, we're gonna go around these guys and grab this item. Luckily, each of them only move once, but that does put me in a little bit of a dangerous position, being surrounded. So I'm gonna try to take out this smaller guy, since he'll have, he doesn't have any shields, so it should be a little easier. If I can get through him and then move, then I avoid taking any damage. And you pretty much just have the one health bar, so you wanna get all the way to the end without taking any damage if possible. All right, we collected some loot here, quite a lot of it. We're gonna auto-equip from that. And then anything else we can auto-equip, uh, we don't have any slots for, so we're just gonna salvage what we can, which goes into our loot in the bottom left. I haven't used any of that yet, maybe we'll check that out after this gameplay. So, we've got two big boss types, both with shields, and then we have a smaller boss in the top right, and we have a dasher, kind of a faster player in the top left. We're just gonna move one here, and then we're gonna wait. That allows them to get closer in. Now we're gonna see if we can take out this boss. And then we're gonna wait one more time because I don't wanna risk taking that. Now we don't have any sort of teleport. Oh, we do had a, oh, we had a teleport skill. See, I didn't even notice that. So that would have allowed us to get that box, but unfortunately we did miss that one. I'm gonna wait here, allow me to get closer, take out the boss. Shouldn't be too big a deal on missing that set of items there because, ooh, now I did allow him to get a hit on me. So that guy can, can dash, though. If you are in a straight line from them, they can hit you from a bit of a distance. So I'm going to try to avoid getting too many hits like that. Shouldn't be the end of the world on that one. Auto salvage this loot. Didn't get anything to add any strength or a character there. And move on to the next. Now, these circular guys can move twice or move and attack. So they're a little more dangerous than what we've been working with so far. We're going to move in, attack one, and then I'll just wait here since this one will double move. This circular one. Allow them to get in close. Luckily, barely able to take him out there. Now that gives us three attacks on this one, if we needed them. Not that we do. Now we wait on this guy and take him out. So, yeah, I, I enjoy it so far. It's a little bit overwhelming at the start, when you've never seen it before. There's a lot going on, but I've gotten a little more used to it, and it's really not too bad in, in terms of complexity so far. Now, there's a lot of items. I pretty much just auto-equip things at this point because I'm not sure how to go about selecting them. It did say that auto-equip should work for the most part, so haven't been overly worried about it. Move one in, take that guy out. Our damage is already high enough to manage that at least. Get this guy and then wait one. And you can see in the bottom middle there, we've got a three energy bar. It costs two to teleport, one to move, and one to attack. Um, and that's what's so important about having that three move, because there's no one else in the game that gets three moves, which gives you a really major advantage against the enemies, which you'll need it's sort of like a puzzle. You you have to uh, have to try to outmaneuver these guys. So this guy underneath us has two moves, so I'm going to want to take them out quickly, followed by taking out the uh, shooter there. So take this one, and then get far away from the shooter so they can't blast me. Oh, I keep, I keep forgetting these triangle guys can dash, but we're going to teleport to the back of the shooter and hit him. Barely doing enough damage to take him out. Saves a little bit of health in the long run. Now, I'm just going to wait one more time. Allow this guy to come right up next to me. He only move one at a time, so I don't have to worry about getting taken out. And move one over. I'll wait one more time. Let this guy get a little closer. And I think I should be able to beat them pretty easy. Okay. Awesome. So we're making it through here pretty quick. We're level, at level six. Move on to that one. So I want to get that box three turns. I should be able to get this guy down in one attack. Mm, but then I've got to worry about the two-move character getting a hit off. I don't know if there's a way to avoid that. It's either going to be the two-move guy or the blaster that gets a hit off no matter what, correct? So hit this guy, 
get this guy down, because he's going to do more damage in his shot than the blaster would. Now we move... Ooh, what does this guy have? Teleport skill, okay, that's not bad. So, I'll just move one over, hit this guy twice. Okay, yeah, because we're still too weak to hit him in one go. Now we can get the box, move over to here, so this guy can come right in front of us. Well, he can teleport, so it doesn't matter anyway, and take him out. So again, yeah, a puzzle game, trying to figure out, based on the enemy's movements, how you should move, and auto-salvage that, moving on to level 7. I pretty much just have to teleport if I want to get this thing, and I do, and so I will. <laughs> and we'll take, we're going to take some serious damage. Uh, but, you know what, not so, so bad. Those guys, those guys' attacks aren't crazy strong. Um, we're going to have to attack this guy, but I, I want to go over here and attack him. Didn't quite get the attack off. The guy evaded me. Try again. Two, and move. That saves us on the health. And get our last attack off. Okay, auto-equip the blaster. So that allows for critical modifier of 12%, so that's pretty major. And we now have another attack style. So at the bottom there, where I can teleport, I now can also do this paint attack. It, it hits in a three-row. three, three row. So we're gonna... We're gonna go ahead and use that. Oh, what happened to it? Oh, here it is. Equip that. There we go. And then auto salvage the rest. And level eight. So here is that. We can hit these three in a row. So just show you that. Pretty powerful, clearly. And then move to the side. These guys, since they can only move one, um, we're gonna want to just try to take them on one at a time as much as we can. So don't get in front of them at all when, when it's their turn. <laughs> when it's gonna be their turn, I mean. Okay, that guy down. Wait. Put them in closer. Get that guy down. Move here, and we wait. Now they're all pretty close. This guy down. I don't have any guarantee that I'm gonna... Like, they could evade, so I'm gonna wait one. Let them get in closer. Take this guy out. Wait again. Taking plenty of turns here, but you may as well. Better than getting a little... Get, letting them get any hits off, so... And that should be it. Another level down. And we get... Uh, nothing better than what we have according to this, so it would say auto-equip if I were supposed to equip any of this stuff. I guess I'm not, so I'll just salvage it, grab myself some more more of whatever that stuff is. I'm really not sure yet. So these guys, none of them have quick movement speeds, so I'm just going to rush in and grab this. I really don't know what momentum does. Okay, but they all are teleporters, so we're going to have to get one down, attack another, and back up. That should work. We're going to double attack the one behind us if we have to. Okay, get this guy down. We'll move here just in case one of them eva evades. Or, well, <laughs> to let them all into us, actually, apparently. Oh, no, that was bad. I should have moved back. I didn't think about it. Okay, but I countered one of them. So I got a little damage off. There must be... I must have something with a chance of countering. Last but not least, that guy. And we're done with that level. We, I, have, I have to try out some more nonsense if I can. Let's see what I equipped there. This, which has its own paint power. Okay. Auto salvage whatever's left and go to level 10. So now we have teleport, we have a ranged triple it's called, and a melee triple. Interesting. So, and then these guys, ooh. So there's an exit. We have to get to that within the four turn limit. These guys have a dash and slash skill. So what I'll do is I'll move here so I'm not directly in front of any of them. Let them get in closer. I don't have anything to use against them properly. Okay, we're gonna try, this is a little bit wild, but we're gonna try moving one over and meleeing. Oh no, it's not that strong. Okay, whew, barely strong enough, okay. So we might be able to do that one more time, but I really wanna make sure that I get into this portal before the end. Yeah, we're just gonna walk into the portal, don't wanna risk not getting there. And what does it give us? So an option of three different things, Evade and lose rarity modifier, okay. Shields and lose regeneration, or shields and lose loot amount modifier. I guess shields helps us avoid needing regeneration, so I think that probably could make sense. And I don't want to ruin my loot modifier, I want to make sure I'm getting good loot, so we'll, we'll go with that. Auto salvage what's left, and move on to level 11. Now what's best here? A bit tough. These guys are bosses, so I think my best option is to teleport behind attack. Unfortunately, didn't get the kill in. That should be okay. Hit you. We're gonna wait again. Okay. Now, once again, teleport behind. Attack. Okay, we got him down. Fantastic. 
And they moved in front of us, allowing for a triple hit if we need it. Okay, we wait. I actually should have moved one forward. So I'm gonna wait one more time, let him get in close, and get our hit off. Okay, nice. Didn't get any loot there, though, unfortunately. I don't have anything, any any abilities to mess these guys up. So I'll just go for a direct attack and, and tank a bunch of damage. Our shield blocked most of it. Oh boy. Down, there we go. Double beaten, still no loot. That's all right. Okay, so we're just gonna go crazy teleport time. Teleport to this one and get a hit off. I'm gonna get all this loot, even if it kills me, and it better not. <laughs> I, don't th I, think, I think it'll be okay. I think I'll be able to get all the loot. So luckily we have this teleport and it's just gonna make things pretty awesome for us. We're gonna do a melee attack into this guy so I'm not in front of him for next turn. Okay, and it looks like, ooh, teleporting into this one is gonna give us a boss attack. So maybe what we do here is wait one turn for teleporting to give them a chance to, to move and then hit this guy, let these guys all move. Nice, okay, which means teleport is free to do without taking a hit. We get the item, they'll all move in and then Oh, I should have done the melee. It's, it's a free attack. I didn't even think about it. Okay. Teleport over to here. Get this. And melee this guy. Teleport's actually pretty cool. Oh, we took... That's okay. I mean, I got I got the item. I feel like that's worth it. Oh, and we... Do we regenerate shield? It looks like at the top of our triangle there, we get a little bit of shield every turn. That's pretty cool. Okay. And then we do a slash like that. Wow. These upgrades... Like, these abilities are actually really, really cool. Okay. Launch and hit those guys and then melee these guys. He'll take, oh, he moves in, but he doesn't get a hit off. Awesome, okay. So hit you, and then teleport back here. Fantastic. Hit you, and then melee, and melee again, or can I not? Okay, I can, good. Okay, let them come in. Okay, they regenerate shield just like I do. We're gonna move back one, and then use an ability. Cool. Oh crap, can't use the ability there, so we're gonna teleport here and use this ability. I can move back one and then use the sideways ability to hit those guys. Fantastic, okay, now we just destroy that guy real quick. Way to turn, he moves in, move one forward, and double hit this guy, and we're done. Okay, that was that was a solid solid attack. Now we can auto equip all kinds of nonsense. We're probably gonna be really strong after this. Uh, well, actually, I guess a lot of it was weaker than what we had, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna throw what I have from the vault in to kind of show what that does. I should be able to take items from the vault at the start of the run. At the end of the run, you can store items. Okay, so I can't actually take it out anymore. But that's good to know. Let's go move, go move on here. Again, I don't have anything to take care of these guys, so I'm just gonna have to tank a lot of damage. You hit this guy, we're gonna do like a distance slash on that guy. Ooh, double distance slash. Actually, I guess I can do a little bit of nonsense there. Cool. And I can do this. <laughs> wow, okay, I have a bit more a bit more power than I realized. Level 15 we go on to, and we have this. This is actually gonna be tough though. I don't know if I can get in there and pick that up. I, I really doubt I will be able to. And I can't double teleport. If I teleport in there, I'll take a lot of damage. I might survive, but I don't know if that's worth it. I guess I'll just triple attack this guy, but only end up hitting two. Crap. Okay. Hit you, and we're, we're just gonna tank damage and get, get the items if we can. <laughs> Do we teleport out? Yeah, I think that's a good idea because that'll reduce some of the damage they do. Or all of it, actually. I don't think they'll be able to hit us at all. Hit the teleporter down and do a melee attack on the double mover. They're all rushing in. We will teleport out. We're going to teleport somewhere that we can hit extra if possible. So here makes sense. And then use the melee on those two. Okay. Yeah. Wow. We're, we're definitely, definitely doing pretty good. Here. Melee. Melee. And one of those. Okay, that takes him out. Good. Back up one. One of these. We'll do 
take that. And melee on him. And that takes that one out, and then I have a three attack on this. Okay, yeah, that was an interesting, interesting little puzzle we had there. Beat that level, and that's game. So that's the demo. Store items, now we get to choose an item to keep in the vault, which will most likely be this one since it's our only rare this time around. So throw that into the vault. Now we have two items in the vault. I don't totally know how the vault key thing works. We can store one at a time. I guess if I didn't have any rares, maybe I wouldn't store one one time, save up a vault key, and then the next time I've got two rares, I could throw both into my vault. But I think that's it for this game. I don't believe there's any way to use the tokens. No store option yet, but if there is, let me know in the comments. Leave a like and consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video. I very much enjoyed making it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye now.